I just left Quesada, and that place, I swear, I think I'm about to start putting them on my blacklist or something. Anybody else realize that when you sign on to DoorDash, you just get bombarded with all of the junk that's lingering in the system, and you gotta kind of filter through that, and your acceptance rate goes lower and lower, and then boom, you get a good order? I just had to do that. I just had to decline four or five orders. My son was looking at the phone and he's like, ooh, $13. I'm like, yeah, for 16 kilometers. He's like, ooh. <laughs> and then I got an $8, which is my hidden tip indicator in my area for only three kilometers. And it's a lot of food from a nice restaurant. Of course I'm taking that. So I'm on my way there. Hopefully it's a hidden tip. If not, even though it's still good, $8 for three kilometers. And we'll see what this night gives. This is pretty cool. They have parking specifically for us. Are you crazy, Matana? Are you crazy? This Uber map is really horrible. It just, like, it's always bringing me to the back of a restaurant. Ooh. How did I do this without Uber? Like, Skip is completely quiet. They sent me one offer, which was horrible. And then DoorDash is sending me all these horrible offers now. How did I do this without Uber? I just left Quesada. That place, I swear, I think I'm about to start putting them on my blacklist or something. Okay. I had to wait so long when I went into the restaurant because once again, they were ridiculously slammed. The floor was messy. They didn't even start the order when I got there. And it was funny because they were trying to figure out how to cancel Uber orders because they close at 9, but the orders are scheduled to be picked up at like 10 minutes after or something because they didn't close their tablet beforehand. Can't do that. You can't do that. So anywho, I messaged the customer to let him know that it's going to take a while because they hadn't started his order. I didn't tell him that part. But when I got to his house, he was waiting outside for me with an extra five an extra five dollar tip i was like oh thank you so much although he tipped six dollars in the app because it was a hidden tip he gave me an extra five dollars super thankful so nice of him the mcdonald's close to my house closed their doors really early so now we gotta wait outside i don't i don't know if i want to take any more mcdonald's orders Talk too soon. <laughs> So I don't know if this was the same order that I saw about two hours ago or if this was a new order, but I saw a Wendy's for about 12 something going pretty much to the same area. I believe it had like the same information about an hour or two ago. And when I just saw it pop up, I was like, ah, they added more money onto it and I just delivered it because now it actually made sense for me to come out into the boonies to deliver this Wendy's order. So now I'm making my way back into civilization. It really wasn't that far, it was 10 minutes away. <laughs> it's just that it seems very far because there's no restaurants out here. So I'm going to be driving this back without any orders. So yeah, but at least they tipped well. You know where I am. locked sometimes I'm home it is now 11 o'clock on the dot I never learn I made the mistake I've taken one last order from uber eats and it was to McDonald's but it was a really good payout it showed 22 something for just 10 kilometers I'm like what so I took it that McDonald's man well as you saw the doors were closed so I had to go to the other side knock on the door and then she came and she took the number and I didn't see anybody for another 15 minutes and then I knocked again and I was like oh, hello and they're like which numbers is it it was a different person and then she brought me the bags I don't know how long they were there this is the thing that I don't like we go into McDonald's when they're closed they don't see you. You're not in their face. 
So it's like they forget about you, especially if they get busy with drive through They completely forget about you. And how long is your order waiting there and waiting there and waiting there and just getting cold? So I never learn. I never learn. I got to figure out something because like these McDonald's runs, especially since I do nights, I have a lot of McDonald's and the McDonald's by my house closed their door at 830 tonight. So there's going to be a lot of situations where I'm going to be go into the drive through line and obviously you can't drive into the drive through line because your order is most likely not ready so they'll tell you to move to the side anyways i gotta figure out something what do you do when a restaurant is closed and you can't stay in the drive through line what trick do you have because it's like it freshies me every time and then every time i end the shift like that like feeling like annoyed and defeated and it's not fun because I had a really good shift today like I made I think a hundred and five dollars or something I want to feel that way <laughs> so anywho hopefully you enjoyed the video today oh, goodness it was it was fun it was multi apping it was you know going out into the boonies <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed it I'll see you in the next one Bye!